Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question which is a combination of circles and trigonometry chapter. Now, this question has three sub questions. The first sub question is of one mark, the second sub question is of one mark, and the third sub question has an OR question as well, and it is for two marks. So, let us start with the first sub question. The picture given below shows a circular mirror hanging on a wall with a cord. The diagram represents the mirror as a circle with center O. AP and AQ are tangents to the circle at point P and Q respectively such that AP is equal to 30 cm and angle PAQ is 60 degree. Find the length of PQ. So here in the question it is given that a mirror is hanging on the wall by a cord and the mirror is in the shape of a circle and center of the circle is given as O. And AP and AQ are the two tangents touching the circle at two points P and Q. The length of the tangent AP is given as 30 cm and the second information given here is angle PAQ is 60 degree. Now to find out the length of PQ, let us first find out what is the length of AQ. Now here since it is mentioned that AP and AQ are tangents to the circle at P and Q, which means these two tangents are coming out of the same external point A. And we have the two tangent theorem which states that any two tangents that come out of a same external point to the circle have the same length, which means the length of AP will be equal to the length AQ. So AQ also becomes 30 cm. So here we have written AP is equal to AQ is equal to 30 cm using two tangent theorem. Now once we have got this, let us focus on the triangle APQ since we are trying to find out the length of PQ. So here we have redrawn this triangle APQ for easy reference over here. And we have marked the length of AQ as 30 cm. Now two sides of the triangle are of the same length. AP is 30 cm and AQ is also 30 cm. Which means triangle APQ becomes isosceles triangle with two sides being equal. Which means that the angles are also going to be equal. So let us consider the angle P as X and angle Q also as X. And let us try to find out the value of X over here. Now to find this out, we are going to make use of some of all the angles of a triangle property. So let me write here. So here we have written angle P plus angle Q plus angle A is equal to 180 degree. This is the angle sum property of a triangle. And we have considered the angle P as X angle Q as X and angle A was given as 60 degree is equal to 180 degree. Now these two are like terms. So X plus X will give us 2X and we are going to take 60 on the other side of the equal to sign. So we have 2X is equal to 180 degree minus 60 degree which gives us 120 degree and X will be equal to taking 2 on the other side of equal to sign. 2 divides 120 giving us 60 degree which means these two angles are also going to be 60 degree. Now since all the angles became 60 degree, this is going to be an equilateral triangle. And in equilateral triangle, all the angles are 60 degree and length of all the sides will be same. So if AP is 30 and AQ is 30, we have the length of PQ also as 30 centimeter. So here we have written triangle APQ is equilateral now after finding out these two missing angles. So length of AP will be equal to AQ will be equal to PQ giving us the length of PQ as 30 cm. Let us move on to the second sub question. Find the measure of angle POQ. So here we need to find out this angle POQ. Now there are many methods to find out this angle. Here I am going to show you two methods. The first method is let us consider APOQ as a quadrilateral. So we know that sum of all the angles of a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degree. So we have written here angle A plus angle P plus angle O plus angle Q is equal to 360. Now here we know the value of angle A which is 60 degree. It was already given in the question. Now to find out angle P and angle Q, we are going to make use of a theorem which is the radius tangent theorem. Remember that a tangent always makes a 90 degree angle with the radius touching it. So here AP is a tangent and OP is a radius. So the angle OPA becomes 90 degree that is by using radius tangent theorem. Similarly AQ is a tangent and OQ is a radius. So using radius tangent theorem we can say that OQ is perpendicular to AQ. So angle OQA becomes 90 degree. 
So here we have written angle P is equal to angle Q is equal to 90 degree that is by using radius tangent theorem. Now plugging in the values of angle A, P and Q we get angle A as 60, angle P as 90. We need to find out angle O. Angle Q is again 90 is equal to 360. Now taking these angles on the right hand side we get 360 minus 90 minus 90 and minus 60. So this will give us the value of angle POQ as 120 degree. So this is using the method 1 where we considered APOQ as a quadrilateral. Now let us consider method 2. Now here we have written the method 2. This is one of the properties of two tangent theorem. Now here according to this property we can say that angle made by the tangents at the external point that is at point A when added with the angle made by the same tangents at the center will be equal to 180 degree. Now here angle made by the tangents at the external point is 60 and here we need to find out what is the angle made at the center by these two tangents. So let me write here. So angle made by the tangents at the external point is 60 plus angle made by the tangents at the center is angle POQ equal to 180 degree. Now taking 60 on the other side of the equal to sign we get 180 minus 60. That will give us the value of angle POQ as 120. Since this question is just for one mark, I would suggest to use the method 2 because this is much easier. Otherwise, you can use method 1 as well. Now, let us move on to the next sub question. Find the length OA. So, we need to find out the length OA. For that, I am going to consider this right angle triangle OPA. And this is right angled from the radius tangent theorem. So, let me redraw this triangle over here. So, the right angle triangle OPA is drawn. The length of AP is written as 30 cm and if you observe angle A, I have written here 30 degree. Here the total angle A is 60 degree. Remember a line joining the external point to the center of the circle divides the angle at the external point into two equal halves. So 60 gets divided by 2. So we get 30 degree for this triangle and 30 degree for this triangle. So here we have taken the angle A as 30 degree. Now once we have got this, we need to find out what is the length OA and for that we are going to make use of trigonometric ratios. Let us consider angle A. The side opposite to angle A is OP. So this becomes the opposite side. The side opposite to the 90 degree will be always the hypotenuse. So OA becomes the hypotenuse and default PA becomes the adjacent side. Now in this triangle, we need to find out the length of hypotenuse OA. We have been given the adjacent side as 30 cm. So we do not require the opposite side. So here the trigonometric ratio which makes use of adjacent side and the hypotenuse is cosine or cos. So let me write here. So cosine of angle A is equal to adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Angle A is 30 degree. So we have written cos 30 is equal to adjacent side is AP over the hypotenuse is OA. Now we have the value of cos 30 as square root of 3 over 2 and AP is given as 30 cm so we have written 30 over here over OA. Now let us take OA on the other side of the equal to sign and root 3 over 2 comes on the right hand side. So we get OA is equal to 2 multiplies with 30 divided by square root 3 comes to the denominator. So 2 times 30 gives us 60 over square root of 3. Now we cannot have a square root term in the denominator. So we have to rationalize this term. So we are going to multiply the numerator and denominator by square root of 3. So we get 60 over square root of 3 times root 3 over root 3 by rationalization. Now 60 times root 3, the numerators will multiply together and root 3 times root 3 gives us 3. Now 3 divides 60 that is 3 1 times is 3 and 3 20 times is 60. So we get the length OA as 20 root 3 centimeter. Now let us move on to the OR question. Find the radius of the mirror which means we need to find out the length of OP or OQ. Now here again I am going to consider the right angle triangle APO. Let me redraw the triangle over here. So this is our right angle triangle OPA. Angle A again we have here as 30 degree and AP is 30 centimeter. Now here we need to find out the length OP. So this is the missing side. Now again let us make use of the trigonometric ratios. This is angle A 
the side opposite to angle A is OP. So this becomes the opposite side. The side opposite to the 90 degree is hypotenuse and the remaining side becomes D for the adjacent side. Now in this question, we need to find out the length of OP which is the radius and we have the length of adjacent side. So we do not require the hypotenuse over here. And the trigonometric ratio which makes use of the opposite side and the adjacent side is tan. So here we are going to write tan of angle A is equal to opposite side over adjacent side. Angle A is 30 degrees so we have written here tan 30 is equal to opposite side is OP the radius over the adjacent side is AP. Now tan 30 we know that it is a standard angle so we have written its value as 1 over square root of 3 is equal to OP over AP value is 30. Now let us take 30 on the left hand side. So we get OP as OP is equal to 30 multiplies with 1 giving us 30 over square root of 3. Now again there is a square root in the denominator. So we need to rationalize this numerator and denominator. So here we have written 30 over square root of 3 times we are multiplying the numerator by square root of 3 and denominator also by square root of 3. Now the numerators will multiply together. So 30 times root 3 over root 3 times root 3 is 3. Now 3 divides 30 that is 3 1 times is 3 and 3 10 times is 30. So we have the value of radius OP as 10 square root of 3 centimeter. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked this video. And if you found this video useful then check out these playlists where you will find more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.